This is date number nine of 52 dates that I'm going on this year. I'm gonna be real with you, I had a week off. I was really, really exhausted. Um, and I was actually really sick last week, but I was just, I needed a bit of a break. People don't realize how exhausting going on first dates are. And even if you see them a few times, it's like, it takes a lot of energy out of you. So I felt like I just needed a week off, which I know is like against the whole point of the videos, but like, I just needed a break guys, okay. This date was like very spur of the moment. I met a guy out and then he asked me out for drinks the next day. We went out for some drinks. Um, and I think I had beer goggles on. Not to say he was unattractive, but I definitely had beer goggles on. <laughs> and he just did not look like how I remembered him from the night before. Not that that was an issue. His personality just was a little bit off. He, he was just like, what? I don't know what's wrong with me. I always go for like, I don't know. I like meet someone or I, I see someone online or whatever. And then I get this like false depiction of what they're like in my head. Like I make up what they're going to be like. And then when they don't meet that like expectation, I get disappointed. So that's what happened basically. He didn't meet that expectation that I had of that like preconceived idea of who he was. And then I got disappointed. And then I was like, this just isn't the one. I don't know, it's really bad. Anyway, I probably need to see a therapist, but. <laughs> are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? This is Annie Knight, a digital harlot on OnlyFans. Now in 2023, she got piped down by 300 men and not to be adorned by her previous record. In 2024, she intends to get plowed by 365 men because she says sex empowers her and makes her feel good. The vast majority of men will not take this woman seriously because of her past. And maybe one day it will dawn on her that fast money comes with slow problems. And I know there's a mega simp out there who will try and save her. If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? Are you okay, honey? You guys cook like old people fuck. And I thought, oh my God, and that came out of the blue. Yeah, I wouldn't expect something like that to come out of his mouth. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a laptop. Tell her to type her CV. That's when you understand that the Brazilian hair is on top of a coconut tree. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You just smacked the shit out of me. Okay, that was alright. <laughs> Holy sh- Oh, it's on my mom. You're a victim. Oh, mm. Here we go. Uh, have some money. How much you need? Whatever you feel like giving, kind sir. <laughs> the Wait. fact that I don't like when a woman see. <laughs> now I know I like. I need a man that provides. That's yeah, his pride in being a provider. Like, you feel me? It's just natural though. Yeah, but I gotta but make sure. I brought this just for bait to see like who would jump out of line and just like skip every round just to run to the bag. We all want money. They probably just as low. Nah. Because the money comes with some genuine shit. You get I mean, more when you're genuine, genuine, though. I'm a genuine person. But the fact that you got out of line... We gonna, we gonna be no, no, no. Day. The fact that you got out of line and ran up to that... She did. Crazy. I would. Damn, <laughs> that's a no. Like, I can't at the end of the day, still everybody want money at the end of the day. I get... We, I want what? money. What? Wait, wait, wait. I want money. I want money, too. No, you can't, you can't get it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already yeah. on the payroll. No, I ain't even know that. <laughs> I need a man that takes pride in being a provider. We're here to compete for you and to see if you're a good match for me. A good match for me is a man that takes pride in being a provider. So that's why I asked you that, really just to see what you was going to say. He cold. She belongs to the streets. You ever been with a black guy? No. You haven't? No. What are the chances I could be the first one? They look pretty good. She want me. She want me. Bang. How about uh, me and you take one of these and go up to a room in like 30 minutes? <laughs> You're not even gonna buy me like lunch. <laughs> this is your lunch right here. The chocolate. Is it, it is dark chocolate. It is dark chocolate. <laughs> I do dark chocolate. You do like dark chocolate. <laughs> okay, let me get your number then. Okay. You might eat up with this whole box. <laughs> okay. This mother don't miss. No, he's good. That mother don't miss, man. What is your craziest college confession? One time two roommates or teammates and I we had an experience together. What type of experience are we talking about? It's a very fun experience. Y'all know what's going on, and so do I. I have the same experience. My teammates same. too. Same, same teammates. Oh same my team. God. Jesus Christ. 
I have the same experience as them. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All y'all going to hell. What? You right there. Hell. You. The hell? Hell. You. Hell. This one is for the boys. The five secrets to happiness. Number one, find a woman who can make you laugh. Number two, find a woman who can cook. Number three, find a woman who really listens to you. Number four, find a woman who is amazing in bed. And number five, and this is the most important one, make sure that these four women do not find out about each other. Emotional damn. He called. So how much does a man have to make to be with you? Like make a year? Money wise? Yeah, you look, you, I can't lie, you got the verse on that matching the dress. You look kind of boozy a little bit, so I'm going. I don't really, I don't be paying attention. Be as long as he can take care of me. As long as he take care of you. So you can make. You can make ten dollars a month, but as long as you take care, you make like you straight. Ten dollars going to me, I don't care. Gentlemen, I hope you caught that. Now she says that she doesn't care about money, and in the same sentence, she says that if you earn ten dollars a month, you should give it all to her. Now, gentlemen, I've said it several times on this channel. Don't listen to what a woman tells you. Watch her actions. I have anxiety, depression, OCD, BPD, FOMO, and social anxiety. For sure. I have so many guys hitting me up on my DMs. It's crazy. Like athletes, rappers, actors, content machine. But I know better than to go for them. Wait, wait what do you mean? Well, you have so many beautiful girls hitting them up constantly. But I know that's not a problem for you. Oh, so you ignore their DMs? No, I still get piped down by them. Oh, that sounds fun. But it doesn't turn into anything serious. Listen, I've had my fun. I'm not looking for that anymore. So you're at least single? No, I have a sugar daddy. We would have to keep our relationship private, but just for a couple of years until he dies. Okay. Okay, well now I have a question for you. Cats or dogs? Dogs. I don't really like cats. Ew, you're disgusting. How do you not like cats? What are you, a psychopath? <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Oh, toxic quote of the day. Never go back to the same person twice, because if you deep it, if you see the same tree in a forest, it means that you're lost. I'm not fat, I'm P-H-A-T, pretty hot and tempting. Ooh. She dreaming. Keep telling yourself that, darling. She Ain't nobody dreaming. Dreaming. Dead. All I got to say about that is I'm glad I got some boots on, because getting deep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hold on, this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny, but it is. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Guys, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the love. If you're not here, it's because you're a square. Sorry, I didn't you. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. How many plan B's did each of you take? Yeah. So, I've had three okay. abortions and one plan B. Three. What? Yep. Man, look at man, hell no. Three? Three abortions? Okay, what about you, Mia? I took more than five. Diana, what about you? <laughs> Over ten? Bro. <laughs> more than twenty? Yeah, oh more my than God. 20. Is it over forty? And so you yeah, don't want Hey yo, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> I want the chat to see this, right? Mm. Because I always speak about promiscuity in men and promiscuity in women. The fact that laws was passed that gave women rights to contraceptives, plan B's, mm -hmm. birth control, and the ability to abort the kid. What it did was incentivize women to be more promiscuous. Wait, my question is, when I was 18 and had the choice to take a plan B, I shouldn't have taken it? And you I should had... have not even been having sex with a man that wouldn't provide you a future, a man that you don't want. Facts. This is what I'm saying. You all have a problem with choosing men. Yes. And then the men that you choose, you have a problem with retaining the men too because you made bad choices in choosing them. So all I'm saying is if we took away the contraceptives, there wasn't no plan B, there wasn't any birth control, you couldn't have abortion, would have, you would have we, more stake in the man that you choose. So yeah. then you would have more discernment. Mm -hmm. Discernment is the ability to make good judgment. Mm -hmm. You would be using discernment to make good judgment in the men that you choose. But the fact is that you utilize all of these contraceptives. Oh, well, I got a plan B. Oh, I got a plan C. I got a plan Z. You got too many freaking plans, so you choose. <laughs> Using the wrong n**** It's facts! It's facts! These are not facts! These are not facts! I mean, uh, what? What? 
And you got to Hey Anthony. How was your day? My day was cool. It was cool? You yeah. like Atlanta so far? Yeah, I like Atlanta. I feel like I'd love Atlanta if you was with me. For real? Yeah. We can make that happen, like, back in Houston, though. Back in Houston? Mm -hmm. So we can't make it happen now that I'm in Atlanta? I mean, you are only here for two days. I'm trying to make my times worth. I mean, you you look like you're worth it. We can go out it. tonight. You seem worth it. I'm worth it? Yes, you seem like it. I'm trying to see, though. Mm-hmm. We do look good together. I know. Come give me a hug. Mm. You got, uh, you got some soft skin, I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. You like what you see, though? Okay. So, we could, you know, get you that fried chicken and, you know, maybe crack you to a song, you know? Crack. You, say, you, you gotta not, stop saying crack, say crush. No, I like saying crack. Because your face, your facial expression be taking me out. That shit sounds so funny, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. But I'm gonna be the one cracking you with anything. Killing all male inhabitants. We must stay focused. One day he will learn that. She's not yours, it's just your turn. Nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't.